Hey everybody, what's up? Um, I have a short tutorial for you guys today. Uh, I'm going to be covering how to um, make your guy run in Endorphin. Uh, it's a pretty popular question that's been floating around, and I'm just going to sort of clear things up uh, for those of you who um, are just starting out and are kind of confused. Um, so to start off, what you want to do is you want to go down to the um, bottom left hand corner and you'll see simulation character click that and then find the delete key on your keyboard and press it and it'll delete the character that um, that's uh, the default character that spawns when you turn on endorphin so once he's gone you wanna bring your mouse up to the um, upper screen and into the, in the taskbar you'll see um, an option that you can click that says add character and it's basically like a picture of the endorphin guy's head so you just click on that and then it'll bring up this little box thing go down to the bottom right hand corner and you'll see a little um, option that says browse you want to click on that it'll load and then it'll bring you to browse for a folder so what you want to do from there is just keep going down until you find endorphin learning edition so here it is it's in my natural motion file endorphin learning edition so once you found endorphin learning edition keep going down until you find tutorials and normally it'd be like a closed file open it up and it'll bring up a whole bunch of different kind of tutorials that you can uh, look at but what you want in this one is tutorial 7 importing and modifying animation so you click on that <coughs> click on that sorry and click OK <coughs> and then when you've done that there should be um, an option that you can click down here that says audio motion 2 so you want to click that and spot the guy click OK by clicking OK so once he's spawned what you want to do is highlight him now this is very important you don't want to forget to highlight him or else this won't work at all so you highlight him and then you go to the taskbar once again and in up in the uh, upper left hand corner you'll see a photo of like a piece of paper with an arrow pointing to it and if you put your mouse over it it shows import so you want to click on that and I'm already at the folder I'll just show you guys how to get there um, when you click on that, it should bring you to program files times 86 or whatever it is. Um, but if it doesn't, just go to your program files manually. And um, when you get there, scroll down until you find the folder Natural Motion. You want to open that up. And then inside of it should be Endorphin Learning Edition. So open that up. Now go Application, Open. Our, um, uh, sorry, my bad. That's not what you're supposed to do. Resources. Go resources, not application. Open that up. And then it should bring a whole bunch of different options. You want to click animation. Open. And then you'll have audio motion 1, audio motion 2, eyes Japan. I don't even know what eyes Japan is, but you want to click on audio motion 1. And then click FBX and it should take you to all of these different kind of movements that your character can do um, so yeah if so um, to make your guy run now all you gotta do is just click the run and it should load a page like this and when you get to this page if you go down to auto motion transfer the the area that says auto motion transfer click transfer from reference character and check the box beside it and then it all this should light up and everything like that like it just did for me and then all you have to do is just click OK and it'll load for a while sorry it's not responding hold on it'll catch up in a minute there we go so after it um, after it loads you'll see that um, that there's like a dotted line that that spawns behind your character and in front of him and so basically just sync that and he'll sync and then press the play button and play it and your character will be running um... sorry that like it's so laggy it's because i'm recording with like a really crappy screen recorder 
but when you do this like by yourself on your computer without like recording or anything like that, it'll run smoothly and it'll, and it'll look great. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye, guys.